Imagine getting arrested not for a crime you've committed, but for simply waiting for the perfect moment to do so. This isn't a scene from a crime thriller, it's real life, and it's happening right here in Guyana. Today, we are diving into the unusual case of three men charged with waiting for an opportunity to commit a felony. Stay tuned as we unravel the details behind this startling charge and what it means for our justice system. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. On August 8, 2024, the Providence Police made a significant arrest that caught many by surprise. Marlon Garrett, a 25-year-old laborer from Hadfield Street Lodge, Georgetown, Jamal Anthony, a 28-year-old from Guyhock Park, and Owen Boston, a 23-year-old from Cummings Park, Sophia, were all apprehended at Heroes Highway, Providence, East Bank Demerara. The police found them in a vehicle, and upon further investigation, discovered that one of the men, Jamal Anthony, was carrying an unlicensed firearm. This arrest wasn't just about the firearm, though. The three men were charged with an offence many had never heard of before, waiting for an opportunity to commit a felony. This charge, laid under Section 6.1.C of the Prevention of Crime Act, suggests that the police believe these men were poised to commit a serious crime, even if they hadn't yet acted. Following their arrest, the three men were brought before Magistrate Dylan Bess at the Diamond Magistrates Court No. 3. Each of them pleaded not guilty to the charges laid against them. Despite the severity of the accusations, bail was granted at $200,000 for each defendant. However, Jamal Anthony faced additional legal trouble, as he was separately charged with possession of an unlicensed firearm. He also pleaded not guilty to this charge, and was placed on a $300,000 bail. The next steps in this case will be crucial, as the court has set a date of September 21, 2024, for the presentation of statements. Until then, these men are out on bail, but the charges they face carry significant legal weight. As we await the court's decision, the implications of these charges on the individuals involved and on the broader community cannot be overstated. This case could set a precedent for how we interpret and apply laws designed to prevent crime before it happens. Imagine a quiet night at your local market, where you're helping a friend unload a minibus, when suddenly, out of nowhere, you're brutally attacked and robbed of your only means of transportation. This is the terrifying reality that Naren Singh, a 42-year-old fisherman from Port Murant, faced just a few nights ago. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. In today's video, we bring you a shocking crime alert from Port Murant, Corentine, where two brothers, armed with machetes, viciously attacked a local fisherman and made off with his bicycle. The incident has left the community shaken and has sparked a desperate plea for justice as the suspects remain on the loose. Stay with us as we dive into the details of this horrifying attack and discuss the ongoing investigation. The incident occurred between 11 p.m. on Tuesday and 1 a.m. on Wednesday at the Port Murant Market, a place that should have been a hub of routine late-night activities. Naren Singh was helping a friend unload passengers from his minibus when the two suspects approached him. These men, known locally and residing in Grassfield, Port Murant, demanded Singh's bicycle. When Singh refused, the situation escalated tragically. Singh's refusal was met with brutal violence. One of the brothers swiftly struck him on the hand with a sharp weapon, causing blood to gush from the wound. In a desperate attempt to save himself, Singh tried to run, but he stumbled and fell. 
The attackers, undeterred, continued their assault, delivering a vicious chop to his head. The blow was so severe that it fractured his skull. As Sing lay injured and helpless, the brothers seized his bicycle and rode away into the night, leaving him to fend for his life. The police were quickly summoned to the scene, and Singh was rushed to the Port Murant Hospital. Due to the severity of his injuries, he was transferred to the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, where doctors discovered the full extent of his injuries, a fractured skull and a deeply cut left hand. Despite Singh's ordeal, the attackers are still at large, and there's a growing concern within the community. Singh, who has no known conflict with the brothers, is now appealing to the authorities for swift justice. His story is a stark reminder of the vulnerability that everyday citizens face and the urgent need for action from law enforcement. In closing, this disturbing attack on Naren Singh has left a community in fear and a man fighting for justice. As the suspects remain at large, the call for accountability grows louder. We can only hope that the police will act swiftly to bring these criminals to justice and restore some peace to Port Murant.